Hello, I'm Brad Johnson, and welcome to this Disclosure 2010 update. There has been an incredible video that has been brought to my attention. I, rec I recently received it through email, and I took a look at it, and what was really interesting about this email, I mean, this uh, video at first, was when I just first took a glance at it the first couple of seconds, I said, ah, this is something to do with After Effects, or something to do with Particle Illusion, or something like that. And then I discovered that this video actually has multiple angles to which it was shot, and I looked at the report that the weatherspace.com uh, did on it, and it just blew me away. There's also multiple photographs from other different people that have actually taken uh, photographs of this particular event. And this happened in Western Canada on Friday night. So when we take a look at this, it's kind of a look back at the Norway spiral, but I think with this, I think it's even more spectacular because we're just seeing something we're literally seeing something almost like out of a science fiction movie here. This is incredible. Um, if this is truly authentic, then this is an incredible uh, piece of footage that we have here. It looks like some sort of, you know, bluish, whitish kind of light ship is uh, just pulling out, doing a curve, and then just shooting off, and like shooting out these like quantum kind of energetic sparks, and then hits this, I don't know, a warp gate, a time gate, a stargate, or something. And what's really interesting, too, is you can hear this two sonic booms in one particular clip. And the sonic booms are just so precisely calculated, it's, it just sounds like it's coming from a distance, just echoing across the valley from where it was shot in one of the videos. This is incredible. If this is truly authentic, if this truly is something uh, that truly happened Friday night in Western Canada, wow. This is definitely um, one of the best-looking UFO videos I've ever seen. So, again, if we're, if, you know, because we have photographs, multiple photographs taken from different people. We have several different angles of video. Uh, the weatherspace.com said that there was, if there was anybody else that had any uh, video shot or photo shot of this event Friday night to submit it to them. I'd like to know where about in Western Canada this was. It didn't really say in the article. Uh, it's in my neck of the woods. But this is just an incredible piece of footage, and it just blew me away just looking at it and just seeing all these different angles and seeing the, the photographs, and this is incredible. And, you know, I guess they're trying to look for a, uh, try and look for an explanation to find out what caused this. You know, there's no, uh, there's, there's currently no reports on any form of military operation or anything like that that uh, justified uh, doing this. So this is something that we're still taking a look at. It's just an incredible phenomenon. Um, <laughs> I was just at a loss for words. I just looked at it and my eyes just started to bulge. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. This is incredible. So if this is truly the real deal, if this truly is an authentic uh, bit of footage caught from all these different angles uh, with all these different photographs from different people, incredible. Probably the best form of UFO uh, footage that we have ever seen. So I will keep you up to date on this story as it develops. If there is more videos that come on in, in regards to this event, if there's more photos that come together in regards to this event, I'll definitely post it up on disclosure2009.blogspot.com. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.